Hey guys, second day of snapper season 2019. To be honest with you, I'm a little whooped. <laughs> we have uh, been doing pretty good every day so far, pretty much. Uh, thermal clines in. Um, we ended up having to die for our last fish, but uh, thermal clines in, which I thought would have pushed them up on top a little bit in the water column, but um, they actually were down on the bottom, laying on the bottom. It was pretty cold. It was probably 57, 62 degrees. Um, but it paid off. Got some nice ones. What do you think, Logan? Is that a good doo doo? Yeah. You like that one? <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, kind of give you guys some tips on cleaning a red snapper if you've never cleaned one. Um, not everybody does it exactly the same. How I do it works the best for me, just like any other fish that I got. But uh, got my Dexter Russell 8 inch straight edge flay knife. And my Dexter Russell 8 inch. Uh, serrated blade for backbones or rib cages or anything that I need to cut through so I don't mess up the, the edge on this. Thanks to Russell and not sponsored. All right, bud. So pretty much just like every other fish, I like to start right here at the side fin. Kind of dig it in there and come around that head. Come around the gill plate. Follow that head around. And then come to the back fin and I just kind of poke in there a little bit and slide right down the top of that fin. All right. So I like to flip, kind of flip the knife hit, kind of drag it this way. Down that back. Take my thumb and stick it in that meat so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And slowly just cut a little bit of a downward angle. And as I'm cutting, I'm lifting up on that fillet. I'll go all the way to the spine. And you can usually hear it when it hits the spine, kind of chatter walk. I like to, with most fish, flip it over and then start this side so the fish doesn't get sucked in like that and it's kind of hard to fillet. It keeps it nice and fat, nice and even. And then I'll do the same. I'll come in with the tip of the knife on that side fin, get underneath the scale, poke it, pull it around that head. Kind of put the point of the knife in there and just slowly drag down that back fin. All right, I'll do the same thing. I'll get my thumb in there, lift up on it, on the fillet. Spin the fish around. Some people give me hell for this. It doesn't bother me. I come right down through the belly. Just I don't cut real deep, so I don't really cut too much stuff up. A lot of people don't like to get that gut bacteria on there. It's never bothered me. I'll come down close to his back fin or lower fin and then do the same thing. Just barely enter the knife. Come down. Slowly lift up. Spin. Grab my serrated knife so I don't tear the edge of that knife up. And voila! Nice fillet. Now I'll flip them to the other side. I remember I already got this side started, got this side pretty much all the way to that spot, that backbone. 
Now I'll flip her around. Come down, I'm aiming at the front of this fin right here. And then just get the tip of that knife in there as flat as possible. Sometimes I'll leave the fillet, uh, the skin attached to the fish, flip it over and I'll use that as uh, when I de-skin it, but I don't have to do it all the time. It works pretty good. What's that? What's that? What's Logan doing? Logan! There you are, Mr. Red Snapper. A couple pounds lighter. All right, I'll go ahead and get the skin off. So far, snapper season this year, I think has been pretty good for everybody for the most part. The uh, most boats I've ever seen out there before, ever. <laughs> Hundreds and hundreds of boats. I was pretty impressed with the uh, Port Authority for getting all that shuttle bus and everything for everybody and getting them parked and getting them situated. I know it sucks, but it made it a lot better. Appreciate that. So I'll go ahead and start and I'm gonna re remove the rib cage. I like to come in like that. Kind of drag that knife. I'm cutting at an angle. I don't wanna waste too much meat. But I gotta get that cage out of there. And if you feel the fillet, I, I use my hand, you can feel bones, they start about right in there. And then they, they come up all the way forward. So I usually take take my knife. And drag it, just kind of cut right around them. They'll usually fall out. Go ahead and I use my just my fingers to hold down that skin. Kind of cut down and then flip it, roll the knife, flip the knife. Just keep pushing forward with the knife or pulling, pull it on that skin. And there's your little piece that you cut. Also has a lot of the red meat on it, so it kind of removes red meat and uh, the bones all in one. And that's really it. Nothing, nothing to it. Do this side real quick. If you guys have any uh, good recipes that you like to share, let us know. We tend to saute them and broil them and butter and garlic, lemon pepper, all that. That tends to be our favorites with, favorite with if the If you guys have any ideas, uh, comment, let us know. We'd like to try new things. All right, and that's that's her. A couple of nice, nice snapper fillets, right off the ocean floor. Thanks for uh, watching. What's on the table? All right, just one more little tip for you guys. Um, if you have a fillet that's kind of about long or wider than your knife is long. Um, as you're de-skinning it, it can kind of be a pain in the butt to dig in there. So uh, don't be afraid to just cut the fillet in half. 
there's that bone that runs down through here anyways but back to here i just kind of feel it with my hand um, that's usually where the red line is at anyways so don't be afraid to just take that knife come down and split that fillet in half and it'll make it a lot easier to uh to de-skin on them on them big wide fish just poke through pull it And now it's nice and easy to uh, de-skin. A lot, lot easier because the fillet is not quite as wide as the knife is long. Same thing, I'll just grab that skin, ride right down it. Kind of take out some of that red meat. I don't get all of it, just uh, most, most of it. Makes the fish a little fishier. Same thing with this one here. Like I said, now it's a little narrower for the knife. This one's got that bone. The bone edge is still there from the rib cage. Now let's take that knife and cut around it. Poke through that skin and pull it. Same thing. My fingers on the edge, get that knife in there. Hold onto that skin and just kind of tug it. Nice clean skin. Said, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, and for our famous uh, bonus footage. What's in the fish's belly? Huh, Logan? What do you think's in his belly, bud? I do. What do you think, Haley? I think it is a crab. Crab? Crab? Yeah. It's a good guess. Yay! You got I'm... it right. You Look at all those crabs. Wow. That's right. He's swallowed a crab. He's crab hungry. He's crab hungry. I have gloves on. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Not sure what kind of crabs those are, but he's uh, loaded with some kind of little crabs. I believe those are tied in the sand, I think. Um, they could be a reef crab, I'm not really sure. Here's the claw for a better clue. Well, let us know if you guys know what kind of crab it is. Maybe we should fish with crabs. What do you think?